News at 11. Thanks for ending your day with us. I'm Lauren Maloney. Well, officials in Essex and Essex Junction have been meeting regularly as they hammer out the details of merging the two communities. And tonight, they continued the discussion, but this time on tax impacts. Local 22's Devin Bates is live tonight in Essex Junction with the details. Hi, Devin. Well, Lauren, some of the things that we heard mentioned last week came up again today, one of them being a local option tax similar to what we see in Burlington, South Burlington and Williston, along with a ton of other Vermont communities. And what we saw today was a discussion on that. Some of the select board members were in favor of that, and they talked a little bit about why they're in favor of that, simply because there would be so much that it would be able to add to the funding for this community. That was a larger part of the discussion, but some representatives expressed frustration that the 21,000 people living in Essex and Essex Junction are up and spending their money in these other communities and helping their funding through that local option tax, but not seeing any sort of that benefit themselves. Similarly, there was a feeling of frustration that ta traffic passing through the area is contributing to what is now $11 million in infrastructure needs with only 750 grand a year in capital expenditures. Now, local option tax could bring in about $1.2 million a year, and one Essex Select Board member offered her thoughts while a resident at the meeting was also in support. For the community, a very clear visual table of some kind that told me as a, as a resident of the town what the change to my weekly, monthly, and yearly budget is going to look like. The clearer that we were and the more thorough that we were and the more easily accessible that would be visually, then people can just know what they're voting for. Now, one person who said they are not in favor currently of that local option tax going to a vote is Essex Select Board Chair Elaine Haney. She just felt that there is too much on the table right now with this merger vote coming up in March, as well as a presidential election, obviously, in November. She didn't want to saddle the voters with one more thing to research ahead of those elections, uh, but it is something that she's open to more research on, and we could potentially see more developments on this as the year goes on. But for right now, live in Essex Junction, Devin Bates, Local 22 News. Devin, thank you. A St. Johnsbury man is being held tonight following a three-hour standoff with police after taking a child hostage.